cardiopulmonary circulation is the flow of deoxygenated blood through the heart and lungs. During this process, the blood becomes oxygenated and is pumped out to supply the body. After oxygen and nutrients are used by the body, blood is returned to the heart via two large veins called the superior and inferior vena cava. So inferior, superior. The vena cava drains deoxygenated blood through the white atrium of the heart. From the white atrium, blood travels through this tricuspid valve, see right, tri, and into the right ventricle. The deoxygenated blood then travels through the pulmonary valve and into the lungs. Pulmonary valve and into the lungs. Within the lungs, the blood travels through the branches of the pulmonary arteries until it reaches capillaries around the alveoli, or the air sac, where the gas exchange takes place. In the capillary beds, blood receives oxygen and flows through pulmonary veins back into the heart. Once reaching the heart, oxygenated blood flows through pulmonary veins into the left atrium. From the left atrium, blood travels through the mitral valve and into the left ventricle. Here, ventricle. The oxygenated blood then travels through the aortic valve and out to the rest of the body. Angina is chest pain or discomfort due to reduced blood flow to the heart. Patients with angina often describe feeling squeezing, pressure, tightness, or heaviness in the chest. Angina is the primary symptom of the coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease is a cardiovascular condition in which atherosclerosis, the buildup of the plague in artery walls, occurs in the arteries supply the heart or the coronary arteries. Atherosclerosis in the coronary arteries can block blood flow in a heart muscle and increase a patient's risk for heart attack or heart failure. So here's a bowl of plague. Plague may grow in size and so it completely blocks the artery, which is called total occlusion. When total occlusion occurs in the vessel and supply the heart to the or brain, a heart attack may stroke may occur. Risk factors for developing atherosclerosis may include high cholesterol, diabetes, obesity, smoking, high blood pressure, and aging. Myocardial infarcation commonly results from plague blockage or atherosclerosis, as we said before. Coronary arteries. So you can see here the coronary artery. The blood supply to the heart may also become blocked when plague or from elsewhere in the body ruptures and forms a blood clot. The blood clot may then break off, travel to the heart, and get lodged into the smaller coronary arteries. Due to the decreased oxygen supply, the death of a heart muscle, patients with myocardial infarcation may experience immediate chest or arm pain, increased heart rate, sweating, fatigue, and nausea. Aortic stenosis, or AS, is a heart condition that occurs when the aortic valve narrows partially, obstructing the blood flow across the valve. It is often caused by calcification of the aortic valve as one ages, which stiffens and the valve narrows the opening. Patients with AS may not ex experience any symptoms, as AS typically develops over many years. However, in patients with advanced AS, chest pains, dizziness, and fainting occurs during exercise. Heart failure are common as symptoms. Patent foramen ovale, or PFO, is an abnormal hole present in the wall between the two upper chambers of the heart, or atria. PFO is a congenital condition, meaning it is present at birth. PFO is typically asymptomatic and harmless. PFO is present in approximately 25% of the population, but many do not know that they have a condition. In the rarest instances, PFO may cause complications including ischematic strokes, migraines, headaches, or heart attack. The exact cause of PFO is not well understood, but genetics most likely play a role. After a baby is born, the pressure of the blood pumping through the heart usually occurs and that causes the foramen ovule opening to close. But in some cases, it does not. Most PFO defects are between 3 and 5 millimeters in diameter. Congestive heart failure, or CHF, is a cardiovascular disorder that occurs when your heart cannot pump enough blood to supply the body. 
CHF can be caused by a variety of disorders, including structural defects with your heart valves, disease of the heart muscle, or cardiomyopathy. In congestive heart failure, the walls of the ventricles are thin and weak. They are unable to adequately pump blood out of the ventricles and lower two chambers of your heart. Instead, blood remains in the ventricles and reduces the amount of blood that reaches the rest of the body. Factors that increase the risk for CHF include high blood pressure, coronary artery disease, metabolic syndrome, diabetes, and structural abnormalities of the heart. Patients with CHF commonly experience symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, shortness of breath, swelling of lower limbs, decreased alertness, and a reduced ability to exercise.